big video. Today, we are literally going to make world history. Confirmed by ESS, which is the supercharger that we're gonna put on my 2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1. It has not been done ever before. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is all uh, Xander 13. That's right, Xander 13. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, you can't what? Be. You ain't got no beard. I gotta do it. You're making fun of my. He, he didn't have a beard. No, he shaved it off. I can do what I want. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I hope that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Turn the post notification bell on. The first thing we got to do is oil pump gears. And as you can see, it is completely torn apart, ready for oil pump gears, which is something that is so vitally important, especially we're going to be pushing these cars and especially with a manual, which this car has. We're going with boundary. So in the past, they've had this older design. It's uh, tried and true, proven, and really the only place you want to spend your money is with boundary pumps. But for our car, we're doing something a little bit different and a little bit new and special since it is a special car. And this is the new Martin Ware treated and also new g2 design from boundary pumps guys check out the video description links down below and you can actually save some money on these things um, what we're doing is a brand new and i suggest this with every mustang is a brand new housing it's better especially if the car's got miles on it go ahead it's a it can be a wear item replace it and so our car has 1400 miles but still a good idea to go with a new housing just to keep everything i guess in check and save it's a very expensive car. It's a new car, very special car. We want to make sure that we're doing things right, right. which is why we are here at HPR. Mm -hmm. The inside gear is bigger, so I think there should be more flow, more pressure, and that's the other big difference I see. You got a little more contact patch, I think, on the crank? Well, you got a little more contact patch. You see how this has got the cutout? Right. This one is barely noticeable. It's barely in there. And then we have the hardware treatment over here which is supposed to give some added strength, about a $100 difference. And it's really neat to see the Boundary has different options there. And we're going with the more expensive gears. Uh, they are Martin Ware treated. It's supposed to be a little bit stronger and really not much cost difference between the two. But as far as the supercharger, because there's lots of different options out there. We are going with something new, something spicy. We're going to go with the new ESS G3 kit. Go check out the website, esstuning.com. It's a big deal right now because ESS has been around forever, but in the Mustang community, not so much, maybe only a couple of years, and only several people really have the kit. And nobody, confirmed by ESS themselves, confirmed by Brevin, has a Mach 1 with the ESS kit at all. Pretty cool that we're actually, you know, kind of making history in this video. We are the first ones ever on this entire planet to put a kit like this together on a Mach 1. So I'm, I'm super thrilled, super excited, and I feel so blessed right now. But guys, we're, the intent and purpose behind this is just to have a little bit more fun with the car, and I don't really want to upset the balance too much. So we're gonna chase about 650 to 700 horsepower to start. That's kind of where I want this car to be. I don't want to really upset the balance because we do want to road race the car. All right, so we're gonna continue rocking on with this, uh, get everything installed. This is a big video because there's so much interest in the new ESS kit. All right, what are you doing here? All right, we've got the new old pump gears in. I've already got the assembly lube in there. Now, one thing that I like to do is double check right there. They want maximum tip clearance and body clearance, and they show you where to measure. Look right here. So you can use a filler gauge to do mm -hmm. this then. Okay, cool. Hey, and like says three thousandths, three thousandths. Okay. So what they're wanting is maximum tip clearance, tip to tip. So we're gonna find tip to tip, which be right here. And, you, and now there is a little bit of assembly lube in here. This is something, this is a step yep. that a lot of guys actually don't do. Right there. I got just a little bit of drag, yep. three thousandths. Now we're gonna go body clearance, but there it is. I got dragged the whole way through. Okay. That's it. So, so we now. have good tolerances now with our brand new pump. One thing that we've always done, or I've always done, is I still put clean 
engine oil, and I normally put the engine oil the customer's gonna run like we, we normally do. 550. 550 when you go boost. Mm -hmm. Now we throw it back together, we're gonna throw it in the car. And now I'm OCD about stuff. I make sure the bolts go right back. You know, some people just take them out, put them in the pile. I make sure they go back right where they came from. Yep. So. We're gonna make sure that it's properly timed. Well, he is. I'm gonna let them work. All these fancy coolers. Yeah. You guys have never seen the bottom of a GT350. Oh, it's a GT350. It's a Mach 1, but it might as well be a 350 because got a 500, 350 diff cooler back there. You saw the trans and oil cooler up there. It's our 3160. And then we just have the Corsa double X pipe. Links in the description for uh, discount savings on these guys as well. Factory mufflers, but all the suspension is GT350 parts and GT500 components. A lot of really cool things that set these cars, the Mach 1s apart from a regular Mustang GT. If you look up the individual Ford uh, catalog that goes into these cars, you'll understand the price point. I want to try it. Yeah, Ah! Out with the old, in with the new. There we go. I'll just go ahead and start the bolts. So the engine is completely back together, sealed up, ready to go. And we've already got one of the components installed. This is gonna uh, make way, make room for the bracket because the new ESS blower is gonna sit right here in this vicinity. Pretty much, you know, nothing really different on the Mach 1. Engine wise, different from a regular GT except for, you know, throttle body and then the intake which is getting replaced and the uh, manifold itself. But, you know, internally going through everything, it's all identical, so Gen 3 Coyote. A lot of heat shielding. Much, much more heat shielding. Even all the way down here, which you can't really see underneath the uh the side of the heads uh for track use so these are these mach ones are definitely made to be abused for duration on the track on the road course but anyway now it is actually time to i think show you the rest of the components that make up our g3 kit with the upgraded intercooler but you know this is just getting you ready for the next video because we're going to start installing the supercharger and hopefully have the first fire up in the same video and that will be next one after this so make sure that you guys are subscribed turn your post notification bell turned on so you don't miss the video after this one it's going to be the big one the installation of the new ess supercharger for our 2021 mach 1. all right let's lay out the kit let's go through the kit show you the components and show you how nice this stuff is because when you compare it to like a vortex or Paxton or Pro Charger, there are a ton of benefits with ESS. Not only cost, but just materials in general, weight savings, you're gonna see a lot of that. So let's spin the camera, show you the components, let's go. So it originally comes in a much bigger box, but you know, just for transportation and moving everything out here, we just condensed it down. But you know, this is the first benefit to running this kit is stuff like these hoses. Now with some of the other brands, these would be like mostly metal and you'll have couplers in between but the benefit here is obviously weight all branded ess tuning which is sweet this is where the new filter is going to fit in this vicinity here what we're going to do with this uh cooler and the horns uh, i guess we'll cover in the next video and hopefully we will have no issues but i mean they already have these kits on gt350s and this is pretty much the same front end so if they got it to work we can do the same uh shout out lethal performance we're going with their version of a booster pump now ess also sent out a dw400 pump but i think for the time being we're just going to run the bap instead and then we can always have this as a backup but you do get the choice whenever you're buying the kit you know what do you want to go with you want to go with a booster pump or this because our target goal honestly is i think about you know high 600 maybe 700 maybe a teeny bit more than that but the thing that i don't want to lose with the mach 1 is the handling and the balance we're just going to leave on 93 for now we're not chasing quad digits that's not going to be happening anytime soon so we're going to make sure that things are safe and we're going to use daryl wingard for tuning and he is like the best in the business right now links down below for his information anyway so we go move on to our main bracket that's actually going to hold the head unit the cool thing is they ship these by default with 10 rip okay so if you want to upgrade you know for big power this is less money that you have to spend. And for the price of the kit, this is amazing, dude. This this whole bracket here is pretty lightweight. Super clean, dude. But 10 rib 
is so nice to see, you know, by default. It's just money you don't have to spend later on. We have some intercooler pieces. Of course, we got our belt, lube, other components. We're going with 120 millimeter to start. This is a Gen 3. It should give us about seven and a half to eight pounds of boost, which should give us that 700 horsepower range to be confirmed here in the next couple of videos. We're going to actually do some dyno tuning. We'll get to see that firsthand, which is nice. But again, you can get 10 rib options for these. Uh, more bracketry here all lightweight components and there's your charge pipe and that's about it as far as that now we move on this is just a boost line for our blow up valve this is all throttle body cable right here electronics they sent us a precision it gives a precision blow up valve pretty sick let's open it up and check this out so we've already peeked through some of this to make sure all the components are here but this is going to this is going to mount directly to the intercooler. So, lots of cool noises with the manual. Now oh, the intercooler. This thing is sick, dude. So, this is the bigger intercooler. It's going to support a lot of horsepower and give us breathing room since we're going with a G3 head unit. Uh, if we ever want to increase beyond, you know, the 700 horsepower range, this will support that. And the blow-off valve is going to mount right there on the side. And then finally, we're moving on to the head unit itself. And this thing is super sick. It's all made of like billet. And this is the straight cut gears. Ah, oh, this is gonna be, hang on. It's really in there, packaged really well. All right. Obviously you can hold it with one hand. It is, it is heavy, but it is a lot lighter than Pro Chargers and Vortex. But the cool thing is that we have with the G3, it's all billet internally. Now with the G2, it's pretty much the same, except that I think it's like cast or different material or something as far as the turbine goes. And with the G2 kit, you can actually get to uh, 800 horsepower if you really spin them out. Um, but the G3 gives a little bit more breathing room, but a fairly common, a very common, from what I've been researching, a very common uh, combination to go with is a G2 kit with the upgraded intercooler breathing room. Not everybody in the world wants, you know, quad digits on a daily driver. So, you know, seven, 800 horsepower might be where you want to be and the G2 will support that. You know, for us, we want maybe potentially a little bit more and go crazy. I don't think that it's going to be anytime soon, honestly, but uh, I think I'm just going to enjoy the car for the way it is. Is. But if we ever, you know, want to put a fuel system on it and go E85, the G3 is a great option and will support that. This is the straight cut gears. So it's going to have all the whooshy noises. It's going to sound delicious. So anyway, I am really excited to get this thing mounted onto our 2021 fighter jet gray Mach 1. And it's going to give this car so much presence. One of the best things about this kit too, honestly, is the cost. So all links down below and go check them out and let them know that you saw this video. Let them know that Xander 13 sent you lots of different options to choose from. You got G1, G2, G3, G4. Four, four, your S550 Mustang and also other cars as well. But I'm excited guys. So we're gonna wrap up this video, get ready for the next one. I just wanted to highlight, you know, things that we've done with the car in preparation for the install, but the install is coming next and then first startup and then dyno tuning with Winger Performance. Guys, this is, this is the beginning. I am so excited. So, and I'll see you next time. God bless all of you. Goodbye.